Field parameters are very useful. You can dynamically change the fields used in your visuals. Like I have created this toggle button to select MTD or YDD in the below table visual. It works fine for one measure, but what if I have another measures? For example, I am adding a forecast amount and then percent difference. I don't want to use multiple toggle buttons. In this video, I am going to show you two simple methods which will not only solve this issue, but it is also a way to dynamically change column headers in case of multiple measures used in your table visual. Let's create the solution from the scratch. All right. I have these two measures for MTD and YDD, which I created using simple time intelligence functions. Before I start creating my solutions, if you don't know how to create a field parameter, you can simply click on this modeling tab and from the new parameter option, select field. Here you can add your measures for which you want to create a toggle. For example, I am creating this for YDD and MTD sales amount values. I can name this parameter as sales amount. Make sure to check this option to automatically add a slicer to the page. For the visuals, go to the fields option and remove these measures. And for this place, select the newly created sales amount field parameter. Now if I select any option from this slicer, I will see the corresponding measure in my table visual. I can change the type of this slicer to a tile, so that it will look like a button. As said, if we want to use other measures, we will have to create such slicers separately. So without further ado, let me show you the first solution. I will go to the data model view. Here in the model section, I can see multiple new features, including calculation group. From this option, I will create two calculation items. This will be similar to the field parameter, but here we can use a special DAX function, which is called selected measure. The first calculated item for this group is YDD. Since this can use selected measure function, it will work for sales and forecast both the measures. With this solution, we will still have a problem, which we will see in a while. Here again, I am using the time intelligence function to create the YDD for any measure which are used in the visual. Let me add another calculation item for the MTD measure. I can use the same DAX expression and then change the name from YDD to MTD and the function from dates YDD to dates MTD. Now I can select my slicer which is currently using the older field parameter, this I will replace with my new calculation group. After that, I don't need to use this field parameter. Instead of that, I can use all of my basic measures, and my calculation group will automatically calculate YDD and MTD for all the measures used in the visual. Here, column names are always showing same, and it is not changing based on my selection. One way to identify the column name is to use this calculation group as the primary column of this matrix, so that at least we can know what calculations are available in each columns. But if you really want to see the same column names changing based on the selection, or you don't want to use calculation groups, then let me show you another method. So I have one field parameter for sales amount, and I am going to create two more field parameters for forecast and percent difference. I have already created these YDD and MTD measures to save some time. This parameter I can name as forecast amount. Here I don't need this slicer, so I will uncheck this option. I will also create the field parameter for the percentage difference as well. I can name this parameter as percent difference. Uncheck this add slicer option. All right, now I need to create a small custom table. For that, I can go to home option and then select this enter data option to manually create a table. This table name I can keep as metric switch and column name is metric. And here I need just two items, which are YD and MTD. I also need an ordinal column to have a numerical value for this. I will enter the order as zero and one. Load this table. Remove these measures and toggle from the report page and go to the model view. Here are my three field parameters and the custom table. Make sure that in each field parameter, you have the YDD and MTD measures in proper order so that the ordinal's values will always be zero and one for each YDD and MTD. Now create relationships between the each of these parameter and the newly created metric switch table by using the ordinal columns. I can make this relationship as one to many and then change the direction from both to single, though it is not required, but to get rid of any confusions make the relationship single directional. 
I have created all these relationships. Now I will go to the report page. And this time, I will create the slicer using my metric switch table. Then select the visual, go to the field section, and add all three field parameters, which we created for sales, forecast, and percentage difference. Now we are ready with our solution. This time it will not only show the relevant YDD and NTD values, but it will also show you the column names dynamically changing for each measures with its YDD or NTD values. Earlier, it was calculating the values, but column name was same. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for many such interesting videos on Power BI. Post your feedbacks and suggestions in comment box.